Hello friends, today we are going to study about different types of quadrilaterals and their properties. First of all, we should know what is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a closed figure made up of four line segments. Look at this. This is a quadrilateral A, B, C, D made up of four line segment and it is also closed. This is a quadrilateral. Today we are going to study about different types of quadrilateral and their different names and their properties. First of all, first quadrilateral that we are going to study is square. This is a square. In square, its all sides are equal. All sides are equal. Second thing, in square, all angles are 90 degrees. All angles are 90 degrees. Or you can say all angles are equal 90 degrees. So now the third thing in square diagonals are equal. Diagonals are equal. These are the two diagonals which I had drawn. Many of the students don't know that this is, this is called diagonal. We have to join the points of the opposite vertex by making a line. This, this line is called the diagonal. Next, diagonal bisect each other. Means these two parts will be equal and these two parts will be equal. And one more thing, diagonal bisect perpendicularly in square so these all are making 90 degree 90 degree so this is the main property diagonals bisect perpendicularly we know still many are there like opposite sides of a square are parallel also but we are not taking it as right now here also we know all angles are 90 again I am repeating all all sides are equal all angles are 90 degree diagonals are equal diagonal bisect perpendicular means it is bisecting also and it is perpendicular also next now we are going to study about second type of quadrilateral that is rectangle. Look here. This is a rectangle. So first property of a rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. Look here. These two are equal. These two. Opposite sides are equal. Second, all angles are 90 degree. All angles are 90 degree. And again, you can say all angles are equal also. Here also the diagonals are equal. Here also the diagonals are bisecting but they are not bisecting perpendicularly. Means these two are equal, these two parts will be equal. The third type is rhombus.
this is a rhombus first property in rhombus all sides are equal and again angle opposite angles are equal here opposite angles are equal then here also the diagonals diagonals are bisecting perpendicular they are not equal here only they are bisecting perpendicularly diagonals biceps perpendicularly next one fourth type is parallelogram this is a parallelogram in parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal opposite angles are also equal then the diagonal na, diagonals are not equal but they are bisecting only bisecting not bisecting perpendicularly diagonals bisects each other and the fourth point this is the most important point we can say because this will be very useful here the adjacent angles of a parallelogram always make a sum of 180 degree Out of all these quadrilaterals, parallelogram is the most important quadrilateral we can say because you you see this all the properties parallelogram all the properties of parallelogram are inside all these rectangle, square or rhombus. So this is the most important quadrilateral we can say and we have to study about this in detail. So please keep in mind this all the properties because the, here the opposite sides are equal. Also the opposite sides are parallel also. Here also opposite sides in this rhombus, rectangle, square also opposite sides are parallel. Look here. Here they are written opposite sides are equal. So automatically here all sides are equal. Means what? Opposite sides will be equal only. Here opposite angles are equal here in square they had said that all angles are 90 degrees so what means opposite angles are also 90 90 so they are equal so the, all the properties of the parallelogram are coming inside the properties of um, square rectangle rhombus so this is the most important type of quadrilateral we have to study about this in detail thank you then number fifth trapezium this is also important as it is having only one property only one pair of opposite side is parallel nothing else in this quadrilateral only 
One pair of opposite side is parallel. And one more that is guide this is, this is not so much important but they had given so we have to study about this what here it is little bit here adjacent both the pairs of adjacent sides will be equal I'm not explaining this in detail because it is not that much important the diagonal one of the diagonal is bisecting not both are bisecting you can say or the upper part one of this one will be bisecting not both are and all angles will be 90 degree or means the diagonals are not only one side is bisecting and by only bisecting or intersecting perpendicularly thank you